Sony is finally preparing to shake up the mirrorless camera world again. And this time, the spotlight falls on the highly anticipated Sony A7 V. After months of whispers, leaks, delays, and speculation, multiple trusted industry insiders have confirmed that we are very close to seeing Sony's next-generation full-frame workhorse. In this long breakdown, I'll cover everything we know so far about the Sony A7 V, why it took so long to arrive, what factors led to its delay, what features and performance upgrades we can realistically expect, how it compares to the current Sony A7 IV, what role it plays in Sony's wider alpha lineup, and why photographers, videographers, and hybrid shooters should be paying close attention. This isn't just a rehash of surface-level rumors. Instead, I'll dive deep into market trends, price changes, competitor analysis, and technological innovations that explain why the Sony A7 V could become one of the most important mirrorless cameras of 2025. Why the Sony A7 V matters. So much Sony's A7 series has long been the backbone of its alpha lineup. While cameras like the Sony A1 and Sony A9 III push boundaries at the high end, and the Sony A7C II caters to compact creators, it's the mainline A7 models that strike the crucial balance of affordability, flexibility, and professional-grade performance. The Sony A7 III, released in 2018, became one of the most beloved full-frame cameras ever made because of its balance of price and performance. The Sony A7 IV, launched in 2021, brought improvements in resolution, video, and autofocus, but also introduced a higher price tag. Many users still see the A7 IV as an excellent hybrid machine, but competition has caught up. That's why the A7 V is so important. It's expected to fix the shortcomings of the A7 IV while incorporating lessons Sony has learned from its higher-end models. In other words, it could redefine what the standard full-frame camera should be for 2025 and beyond. Why has the Sony A7 V taken so long? You might be wondering, why did Sony delay this camera? We've heard insiders talking about it for almost a year now, yet it hasn't been officially unveiled. Well, there are two big reasons behind this delay. Price strategy and market conditions global economic shifts have had a major impact on camera pricing. According to multiple reliable sources, Sony debated whether to raise prices in key regions like the US and Europe. By late September, insiders claimed that Sony USA would raise prices across cameras and lenses by 5 to 10% forcing Sony executives to rethink how to position the A7 V in the market. Releasing the camera too soon at the wrong price point could have backfired. So Sony decided to wait, observe market trends, and finalize its pricing strategy. For users, this means the A7 V might come with a higher MSRP than the A7 IV at launch. But ideally, that price hike will be justified with stronger performance and features. Production bottlenecks. The second reason is manufacturing and supply chain limitations. Sony's camera factories faced bottlenecks throughout 2023-2024. Models like the Sony A7RV and Sony A1 were sometimes hard to find in stock. Launching a high-demand camera like the A7 V without sufficient supply would risk frustrating buyers and damaging Sony's momentum. Now, sources claim that production capacity has stabilized, meaning Sony is finally ready to bring the A7 V to market with enough stock to meet global demand. Expected timeline for release based on current information, the Sony A7 V will likely be announced between October and November 2025. Some insiders even claim the exact date has already been decided internally. But Sony is keeping it under wraps. Interestingly, before the A7 V arrives, Sony is expected to announce a new G Master lens. Possibly the long-rumored 100mm f2.8 GM macro. This lens launch could serve as a teaser or warm-up before. Sony unveils its next flagship full-frame body, what we know about the Sony A7 V so far now. Let's get to the heart of it. What can we expect from the Sony A7 V in terms of specs and features? While I don't yet have the final confirmed spec sheet, multiple sources have hinted at improvements that seem highly likely. A new sensor, finally. One of the biggest complaints about recent Sony releases like the FX30 or the RX1R3 was their reliance on older sensors. Thankfully, multiple insiders have confirmed that the A7 V will not recycle the Sony A7 IV sensor. Instead, we're getting a new, more capable sensor. Though not an extreme jump to 50 meter p like the A1. Expect something in the 30-36 meter p range, striking a balance between detail, low-light performance, and processing speed. Improved autofocus and AI integration Sony has been heavily pushing AI-driven autofocus in its recent cameras. 
particularly the A7RV. Expect the A7-5 to adopt deep learning AF algorithms with smarter subject recognition for humans, animals, birds, cars, and possibly even more subjects. This could make it a dream camera for wildlife, sports, and event photography, where fast and reliable focus is everything. Video upgrades, the A7-5 is expected to be a strong hybrid camera, appealing equally to photographers and videographers. Rumors suggest 4K 120fps recording improved heat management for longer recording times. 10-bit 4.2.2 internal recording, possibly support for 16-bit RAW over HDMI this, would put it directly in competition with hybrid workhorses like the Canon EOS R6 Mark II and the Panasonic S5 II. Faster processing the A7 V will likely feature Sony's latest BioNS XR processor. This should mean better handling of high-resolution files, faster bursts, and smoother real-time tracking. Ergonomics and body design. While the A7 IV was already solid, the A7 V may adopt refinements in grip design, button layout, and menu responsiveness. Expect an improved EVF with higher resolution and possibly a brighter, more flexible LCD for creators. Price expectations, here's where things get tricky. Because of the rumored price hikes, the A7 V may launch closer to 2799 2199 USD compared to the A7-4's original 2499. That positions it squarely between the more budget-friendly A7-C2 and the high-end A7-RV Sony versus competitor Sony. Isn't launching the A7-5 in a vacuum. It faces tough competition from Canon, Nikon, and Panasonic.Canon EOS R6 Mark II, Canon's hybrid workhorse with excellent autofocus and strong video features. Nikon Z6 III, expected soon, likely to compete head-to-head -head with the A7 V in resolution and price. Panasonic S5 II, popular among videographers thanks to internal ProRes and open gate recording. For Sony to stand out, the A7 V has to not only improve on the A7 IV, but also offer a compelling reason to pick it over rival systems. Why photographers should be excited, if you're a wedding photographer, portrait shooter, travel photographer, or event professional, the A7 V could become your new best friend. Its balance of resolution, speed, and low light performance will make it versatile enough for almost any scenario. Wildlife and sports shooters will especially appreciate faster bursts and smarter AF tracking, while creators will enjoy the improved video flexibility. Why videographers should pay attention. For video creators, the A7 V could be a sweet spot between the compact A7C2 and the cinema-oriented FX3. With 4K 120fps, 10-bit internal codecs, and better heat management, it could serve as both a main production camera and a lightweight B-cam. This is particularly appealing for YouTubers, wedding videographers, and indie filmmakers who want cinema-level flexibility without the cinema price tag. Final thoughts. The A7 V will be an evolution, not a revolution based on everything we know. The Sony A7 V will not reinvent the wheel. Instead, it will refine, polish, and elevate everything we loved about the A7 IV. It's not about gimmicks or experimental features. It's about listening to what users actually wanted improved. A better sensor, faster autofocus, stronger video capabilities, and a more modern design. And in today's camera market, that's exactly what's needed. So whether you're upgrading from the A7 III, sticking with the A7 IV, or considering switching from another brand, the A7 V deserves your attention.